I'm Megan McDavid. This is Look News On Demand for March 7th. Members of the state police dive team Thursday took a plunge into the icy waters of Lake George. It's part of the unit's annual three-week training for winter waterway rescues and recoveries. The training is taking place just north of Lake George Village. A 17-year-old BOCES student in Saratoga Springs has been arrested for threatening to stab a teacher with a pencil. Seth Lane of Glenville was arrested Wednesday after he allegedly was found roaming the hallways of the Henning Road facility threatening to stab a female teacher. Judy Viger of Gansbert was in court Thursday to answer charges. She hired strippers to perform at her son's 16th birthday party. Viger pleaded not guilty to five counts of endangering the welfare of a child. She is accused of organizing a birthday party at the Spare Time Bowling Alley in South Glens Falls last November. You know, what actually occurred was not what was intended to occur, uh, wasn't what was planned. It was shocking to her. She attempted to stop it and did so as rapidly as he could. Viger faces up to one year in jail if convicted and will be back in court next month. Republican State Senator Betty Little, Assemblyman Dan Steck, and Assemblyman Tony Jordan will answer questions Friday between 9 and 11 a.m. at Crandall Library's community room. The lawmakers will present legislative updates and take questions. And mark your calendar, Congressman Bill Owens will be in Glens Falls later this month for a citizen outreach event. Owens will be at Crandall Library on Glen Street for a Congressional Corner Forum. The forum is Tuesday, March 26th at 9.30 a.m. in the library's community room. And that's all for this web edition. You can catch Look News on air weeknights at 536 and 10 p.m. We're on Time Warner Cable Channels 8 and 508.